So I'm pretty late to this, but we're gonna try out today Van VR Adventure. I thought it's called just Van VR. Basically, huge Crash Bandicoot vibes, and it's great for me because I love 3D platformers. I feel like there should be way more on the store, at least. Something about like looking at your kind of character in VR and just playing uh, with it. It's very like cool experience. I mean, just look at Moss down the rabbit hole. Like, you know, just those games that you steer kind of something from the distance. Crash Bandicoot is my childhood. So I would assume Van would be a very cool thing to try out. It's on Link now, but it is scheduled to release for quests like next year, like early next year. So I realized that I could just do like an early playthrough of it and then it's gonna be relevant while it's gonna release some quest. Similar fashion to Walking Dead. So let's see what's up with that. I mean, hey, <laughs> I'm ready for some 3D adventure game, always. And this one seems very polished, like I'm very surprised it gets not a lot of coverage, not like a lot of anything. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What the? Jesus! That's interesting <laughs> introduction. Cute, okay. New game. Username. Okay. I love this keyboard. It's so easy to use. Okay, so, oh, uh, well. Okay, Dave the P. <laughs> Figure it out. Then. This planet was once a peaceful place. A utopia never seen before in the entire galaxy. Its people were occupied mainly with cultivating their land, living their lives in harmony the with nature. Each day was peaceful and full of joy. But one day everything changed. Invaders from space came out of nowhere, determined to enslave the local oh. population and to exploit the planet. The locals couldn't do anything but run and hide. Then, in his effort to draw the invaders away from his younger companions, made the attackers chase them to the edge of a cliff. He had only two options, to get caught or to jump. And that leap of faith was the first step on his journey. He woke up in total darkness. Aww. After many hours, which felt like days, Ben eventually climbed up the hill and found an abandoned workshop. Once sheltered there, he made a thing that his people thought long useless in their daily lives. A weapon. <coughs> the two swords oh, right. he made quickly became extensions it was of his arms. He trained relentlessly, preparing his body for the challenges to come. When he was ready, there was one last thing to do. Then walked Wait. into a maelstrom of noon energy, which gave him strength, new vitality, and magic power. Suddenly he was disturbed by a weird noise. Then threw his sword at the intruder, but luckily missed. The source of the noise <laughs> was Terami, who showed him one of the young ones he managed to save. Then realized that the friendly robot was different from the invaders. He found an ally to aid him in his battle. And now it's time for him. To meet you. Wait, he's gonna be here, I think, right? Because this is exactly place. You have arrived. Initiating the awakening sequence. The Wha planet Aspris can be seen from the cockpit. Whoa. According to our headquarters secret databanks, it is a peaceful planet full of life. All this is possible thanks to a special energy stored in local rooms. These runes are the source <laughs> of longevity of everything on the planet. Mm -hmm. Here, you don't grow old, but stay healthy for hundreds of years. This is probably why Bruce Nelson has come here. To collect runes and enslave the planet's indigenous population. Oh, okay. Then is waiting for you in the training section. Hi! Good luck. I love the introduction so far. Hi, Ven! Wake up. Holy shit, the model's so detailed? What the hell? Wake the fuck up! <laughs> oh. Hey! Hi! Oh, yes! All the movements can be controlled by the left analog stick. Okay. To navigate through Ven's world, you will need to jump over various obstacles. Press the highlighted button on the right controller now to do so. 
Shit. There's a checkpoint ahead of you. You have to activate it using the attack. Perfect. Here you oh. can jump over various obstacles to proceed further. Remember everything I have told you earlier, and you will be fine. No, I'm trying out you know various kind of combination like attack, jump attack, uh, something that I'm familiar with platformers. Oh shit! It's a very good intelligent camera that follows you kind of where van is like located. So the mechanics are actually pretty good. Huh? These training bots are here to help you master Ven's fighting skills. Use the double jump and attack Whoa! Ew! Ew! Get out! <laughs> a power attack kills all enemies with one hit and has a bigger range. Double jump, hold attack. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Like that. So it's like when we're landing, it's gonna be. Hello? Remember that there are Ven's folks Hi. Nelson's minions in each level. And okay. they need your help. It's enough to help Ven reach them. He'll take care of the rest. Oh, thank you. That's so cute. First things first. The watches on your left hand side will show the number of Ikai you've managed to save. Mm -hmm. The little screen below shows the number of Ven's remaining lives. When you collect runes, the screen fills up. Once it's filled up, Ven gets another life. Mm -hmm. The watches on your right hand side will show the amount of time in the time trial mode and the number of chests collected. Mm -hmm. The middle screen shows you the most important information such as the area you're currently in, the amount of the saved little vents, and the time that it has taken you to finish the level. Selecting the area and starting its exploration is very simple. Use these <coughs> buttons to choose the mission you want to go for, and then start the mission by moving the lever. If you want to change any settings, use the tablet. If everything is clear, let's send both of you on your journey. Pull the lever whenever you're ready. Yeah, this UI is crazily good. Like, it's very easy to, you know, uh, navigate. The tablets and buttons are very responsive, unlike in some games. Like, now I don't mind there are, like, you know, those kind of floating devices. Especially that I can just grab them and just, you know, steer. That's, like, so impressive. I'm gonna see, like, about the settings and see. Wait, load details? Hell no. Okay, I got everything on max. And uh, yeah, let's just go with the stages. So it seems like we have four missions in region one. So I'm assuming there's gonna be like 12, which is like a solid number, I think. We'll see. So peaceful village. Let's start the journey. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. Welcome Whoa. to your first mission. This is where Ven's folks used to live. Your main task will be to learn how the controls work. Get to know the surrounding world and find as many Ikais as possible. Remember the lessons you've learned on your training. Good luck. I'm gonna try. Shit. So I have to make it out somewhere here. Yeah, here we go. Huh. Wait, the camera does not like return when yeah I have to like kind of look back <laughs> shit I wonder if uh, I'm just missing some controls because I wish camera would go back as well because it's like just progressing in one line mm, yeah I don't think I don't think okay here we go let's go hi okay, got them Got that. I wonder, you know, because we have to like, we don't have to, but we're collecting those chests. There's as well like a time trial going on. If there's gonna be like more like unlockables in the future, kinda, like a reward for 
collecting all the chests and stuff like that, just like you know in Crash Bandicoot and those pl platformers. Yay! I thought there was a van, okay. <laughs> there was a van. It seems like it's a race of vents. Okay, so I just go here. Whoa. Whew. Bam. Ow. Oh, hi. <laughs> How do I... Oh, uh, I know. E Damn it. Coming. Okay. It's very basic, like uh, it's not very complicated to play. It's just basic attacks and then there's like this jump aoi attack. Yeah, on Quest it's gonna be definitely very easy, like way easier to play because and now I'm kinda like restricted with the cable. I mean it's prolonged from my ceiling, but like now I'm playing like sitting down. Maybe that's what was uh, happening because uh, there was a setting for sitting down. Okay, now. Oh, <laughs> well, here's my seat. <laughs> and because it's like a spatial ward and you're sitting with him like in uh, this setting, definitely I can see this game way better on quest because now it's kind of like you look in your di one distance and that's pretty much it get out a <laughs> van <laughs> fuck how do i go there i mean i just jump yay Tem tem terem. What's there? Is this like a bonus stage or something? I don't know if I'm gonna like reach there. No. <laughs> Answer is no. Hehe. <laughs> I think I'm going there. Yeah, but like the design as well is very cool. Like the art style. No, get out. And then. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I wonder if, like, you know, in later levels we will unlock more advanced kind of mechanics. I don't know, maybe like triple jump and stuff like that, you know. Kind of in those platformer style or is it just gonna stay like basic like that it's not that basic is bad but more variety is always nice <laughs> yeah, the level design is crazy we're on the PC so like we can just up the graphics however we want but I think on quest it's not gonna look that different it's essentially this style of graphics that can handle definitely mobile processing. What the fuck is this? It's a bomb. Get out. <laughs> Kawanga! Okay, well. Anticlimatic. Oh, we're on top now. Bam. Whoa. Tick point. Ah, oh, Jesus.
No, no, no bomb for me. Can I fist bump him? Like, you know. Oh wait, he's looking at my hand. <laughs> yeah, there are some interactions, okay. That's fun. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, this is like half level, so the levels are pretty uh, big. <laughs> I think I'm already like at 15 minute mark, so I'm gonna end like here and just gonna leave a checkpoint and uh, that's where we're gonna continue. But yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, definitely the de design is very like unique and uh, I really like this. I think on Quest and Quest 2 is gonna be very cool to see this title enter. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. We're gonna do a playthrough of it. It's not gonna be that fast because there are other priorities, but it's, it's happening. <laughs>